The following is a non-profit fan-made parody. Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, The Conqueror of Shimbala, The Sacred Star of Milos are all owned by Studio Bones, Mad Men Entertainment, Anaplex of America, Anime Limited, and Hiromu Arakawa. Please support the official release. Previously on Full Metal Abridged. Finally, we're at Lior. Hi, my name's Rose. How can I help? We're actually looking for a philosopher's stone. Father Cornello doesn't let us read the devil's books. So you're the one they call the Full Metal Alchemist. Actually, the other one should be called Full Metal because he's a giant suit of armor. Shut the f*** up, Floyd. That those aren't miracles you've been performing. You've been using alchemy. Ah, <laughs> am more than just a man to these people. Ah, am an idea. You can't kill an idea, boy. For Frodo! And now... Maybe this is for the best. So what if Father Cornell can bring my boyfriend back? I don't need a boyfriend anyways. I'll be fine. I have plenty of places to go. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> oh, the devil bird! That's fantastic! Better Cornell lock me up in here with him. Don't Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. What's in your 316? You've read the holy text! No, it's... it's from... Just, uh, come with me. Wait, how did you escape? After the first bullet broke the wall behind us, the wall fell and knocked out Ed, so I ran away and I left him there, and now I'm in your room, and it smells good, except for the tech bird, and I really want to kiss you right now, but I don't have any lips now. Come on, we have to go! What about Ed? And you want to what now? Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, don't worry about him. He has a plan. He always has a plan. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. <sighs> I was having a great dream, and here you come waking me up. <clears throat> and I have no idea how to turn you off. You're like a human amber alert. You forgot to mention the part about how whenever I appear, a child is in danger. You're a priest. I just thought that was implied. Hmm. So I've had a minute or two to look over this here state alchemist watch. Clearly this is how you've been able to do alchemy without transmutation circles. But more importantly, I've managed to crack open. You opened my watch? Mm-hmm. And I was curious, what is so damn important about October 3rd? That's the day I f***ed your mother. At least I have one. <laughs> Water, 35 liters. Carbon, 20 kilograms. Ammonia, 4 liters. Lime, 1.5 kilograms. what the hell is wrong with you? <sighs> Where's Al? Sadly, your brother managed to escape, but he was never the real threat anyways, now was he? No, yeah, giant suit of unkillable sentient armor. Who would find that threatening? So, what are you gonna do with me? Well, now that your arms are bound and you can't make a transmutation circle, I figure we got all the time in the world to just sit and chat. Oh god, please don't tell me you're about to monologue your entire freaking master plan. I came to this town a well-read man, but a poor one. I'm sure. It was then that I was gifted this little gem right here. I believe you boys call it the Philosopher's Stone. We do, and everybody else, yeah. Oh, with this little thing in my hand, I manage great miracles. Mm -hmm. See, this whole little village follows me because they believe I can bring back the dead. <laughs> Bullshit. So they'll fight, and they'll die. And they'll do as I say, because what I've given them is more than simple alchemy. It is everlasting life. And they bought it. They hit it all right up. Hell! <laughs> I'm not even southern. Well, that explains why there's no butter on this bread. What is this, rye? I hate rye. Wait, how did you- Oh, I don't need a transmutation circle to use my alchemy. As a matter of fact, I could just kill you anytime I want. Yep, just put my hands on you and blam! You're back to a pile of base elements. Salt. Then why? Why go through all this? Getting captured the whole act? Simple. Killing you would be too easy. I wanted a challenge. Anyone can kill a man. I wanted to kill an idea. All I had to do was get you monologuing, and I knew that if you thought I didn't want to hear it, I'd never be able to shut you up. 
And the best part? Now, I don't even have to kill you. They'll do it for me. He's not even southern. Alphonse, language! Sorry, um, you kind of smell like my mom. So to summarize, I win, you lose. Give me back the magical science rock so I can get my leg back, and he's gone. <gasps> it's a miracle! <laughs> Father, is it true? <laughs> can you really not bring my grandma mom back from the dead? Oh, of course I can. That, 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 that was just the devil. He came down to Leo. He was in a bind because he was way behind. He was willing to make a deal. You see? Clearly bringing statues to life means I can bring that man's grandma mom back to life too. Oh well, yeah, that's not Makes sense to me. Statues and people are the same because they look the same. Really? Charlie Daniels Band? I'm steadily being convinced that your good book is a bunch of references taken from Family Guy. Laughing cry. Not sure how much clearer I can make this. Give me my goddamn stone! Watch up! Oh god damn, okay, here, take it! I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Even the fucking ring makes references. Whatever, I don't even care anymore. Just give it to me. Finally, I get my leg back. Everything is fake. You're fake. The stone's fake. This whole cornbread washed living on a prayer town is fake! Well, at least I got this back. It's no leg, but it's something. Sure, brother, you'll be the first we fix. That auto mail is so tough on you. Not being able to sleep, eat, or feel is nothing in comparison. Yeah, no, I'm in paradise. Damn right, Al. Come on, let's get out of this Westboro bullshit desert. What the hell was that? You know, like Harry Potter. I'm working on my references. I thought you couldn't read. I found a DVD in Father Cornell's room, and since you 86 star leader, I figured someone had to step up to fix everything you two wrecked. Gonna be honest with you here, Ruth? I stopped listening about halfway through that sentence. That's the closest you've gotten to my real name. I thought your name was Faith. No, that was... Listen, I've been thinking. Father Cornell was a piece of shit. How hard do you have to think to figure that one out? But... He did help people. He fixed things when they were broken, gave us food and delicious sugar drinks, and he gave people hope! Losing interest fast. Why?! Because you're boring. No, asshole! Why did you do it?! Why take away people's hope?! He might have been a liar, but he kept us all happy! He brought peace to our village! Now there's riots and fighting and civil unrest! Why do all of that?! Why cause so much pain?! Does it prove a point?! <laughs> Rose. <laughs> I don't care. Not about one single thing you just said. In fact, I think I care more about you knowing that I don't care than I've ever cared about any person in this backwater failed abortion of a village. Now, you've got two good legs. Get up, use them, and walk away from me before I turn you into one giant leg and sew you onto my stump. Oh. My God. Did you do this? Because you're jealous that I have two legs and you don't? I really fucking missed that leg, Rose! Falling to your knees is the opposite of what my brother was telling you to do. And then my arm went all Cronenberg and the stone exploded! I like it. It's... girthy. Did you not hear the part about the all-powerful godstone exploding on my f***ing finger? Of course it did. It was a fake. Do you really think we'd entrust you with that much power? You're not even southern. Oh my god. The little blonde girl was right. You succubus! You lied to me! How could you make me believe that I had unlimited power only to- And now I'm seeing the irony! And that's why we keep you around. 
You're a quick learner. Oh! But then you went and screwed everything up. Oh. But luckily, I'm a bit of a chubby chaser. Oh! Which is why I'm going to let gluttony eat you. Oh. Well said, gluttony. Oh, I see how it is. I'm not even in the f episode, even though it's my auto mail that got Ed through all the preacher nonsense. Speaking of which, are we ready to start the story where it f***ing begins? I know I sure am. Next time on Full Metal Abridged. <laughs>